Hi everybody, 216 Papa Bravo here. A little uh, more talk about the Yezu FTM 400DR. Um, when I bought this in the literature that Yezu provided online, they stated that this unit was cross-band repeater capable. And after going through their rather lengthy manual here, I mean it is rather, rather lengthy, uh, I found nothing on how to program for the cross band repeater. So I wrote a little note to Yezu. They have a website uh, here in the United States and one of their reps got back to me and explained to me that it was missed in the manual and then provided me with the instructions on how to do cross band repeat. So uh, with the help of their instructions I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, first thing you need to do <clears throat> first thing you need to do is to program your FTM 400 in the proper channels that you want to repeat. Now in that you have to uh, have one on VHF and one on UHF or UHF VHF whichever but you can't do VHF VHF or UHF UHF. So uh, what I've done I set up two bands here the top one is uh, VHF it's a 146.650 and then on the lower band I have it programmed for 446 double triple zero. Now in doing this I've made this as simple as possible by doing a simplex uh, so I don't need to worry about the offset, repeater offset or anything like that so that I can just communicate directly with this and then get out. <clears throat> so if you are going to go to a repeater you'd want to program in your station that you're going to be uh, repeating to uh, and then have the offset or proper offset and then the uh, CTSS tone or the PL tone uh, programmed into this. You also have to have a, a, a APRS mode in off. Oops. Get back to the right screen. I need to press and hold this for a couple seconds. And in the, um, I believe it's in the config. Uh, there it is, APRS mode. This needs to be off. So everything here has to be off to make this work correctly. So once that's off on this particular uh, radio, you can go ahead and start your crossband repeat. Now we're going to go back to the regular mode. We need to switch the unit off. So press and hold for off. And then what we do is we're going to press these three buttons when we turn it on. So the display function and GM buttons are pressing all three of those. And then turn the unit back on. And now you can see, I'll get a close up for you, the mode there, it says crossband repeater. Now to do this with my radios, and reason, one reason to do this is to uh, be able to use handhelds like this, uh, simple Wilshon or Bofang or whatever, uh, around your own house. You don't have to worry about carrying or worry about where you're at with this. It'll automatically transfer everything to this. I'm going to turn this on, and you can see in the programming here that I have it programmed to 446000 as well as this one's 446000. And my other radio, my test radio now, turn that on, it's at 146650 matching the 146650 here. So now uh, I could be anywhere on my property or around my house or within you know, a mile or so using my handheld and transmit from this through this on my larger antenna to get out to the world. And then it will also, once somebody repeats back, I can get the information back on this rather than being right here. 
So let me demonstrate. <clears throat> we'll push this button. You're going to see this one light up. Test. One, two, three. Test. Okay, so we're transmitting here, receiving over here. Okay. And then we're going to come back with our 146 radio. Test. One, two, three, four. Test. One, two, three. And you can see that it works both ways. So now I can have any one of these radios program for my my crossband radio st stationed at 446000 and have it transmit out or to any station on the 2 meter side or the 146 side that I want to have. So these are really nice radios. Um, <clears throat> again, they, they did not put it in the manual and you had to, I had to re uh, go to uh, Yezu representative and his name was I believe Wesley who responded to me and I want to thank him for getting back to me in, in one day no less and uh, give me the instructions how to do this. So now I have uh, the crossband repeater function that I, I desired so I can be anywhere on my property not have to carry this around with me yet have the same power that this allows me to have to get out to the world you, only using my small Wilshon radio. So <clears throat> that's how you turn it on. To turn it off we're going to uh, to get out of this mode anyway you have to turn the unit off so we're off again. We have to press the same three buttons again and then turn it back on. And you'll see that we're no longer in that mode. There's no mode no mode in there. So uh, it's a simple process. Uh, you just have to have everything set up correctly. Again, if you're going to a repeater or some other mode, you have to be able to program your repeater correctly with your offset or however you want to work it. Or if you're going from VHF to UHF, you have to you know, reverse the process, of course, but then you you have to have that offset. So there it is, just a simple little uh, update on the uh, Yezu FTM 400. It's been a great radio. Really enjoyed listening on, talking on it. Uh, you know, haven't made a whole lot of contacts yet, but uh, just still list, listening and learning on on how to get out. So uh, just a simple setting that if anybody has purchased one of these and wants information about it, that's how you get it done. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. And if you have any comments, please, please, please leave them below. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing everybody later. Uh, I'll have more videos coming out soon. So uh, I'd like to see you watching them all. So have a great day and be safe out there. This is 216 Papa Bravo signing out.